So this is a game called Trio the Punch, Never Forget Me. It is by Data East. It is actually underneath a genre of games called Kusoge, which literally means shit game, which means this game is supposed to suck. It is supposed to be designed badly. It is supposed to be programmed badly. It is supposed to make no fucking sense whatsoever. So of course you know I'd have to do a video of it considering that's basically half the games on my channel. So, uh, you got three people to pick from here. A dude that looks like the Shredder, a dude that looks like I don't know what, and a dude that's got fucking basically He-Man sword. I don't know. So let's go with the Shredder looking dude here. So, uh, the game is obviously Japanese, as you can see from the writing, but you, you like to run around for some reason like this. I'm not really sure why. The first thing you notice is you can jump on people's heads for no apparent reason. It just freezes them in their animation and you're invincible and it doesn't do anything. So you just, you just run around and you're doing your shit. And you're just, what up, you know, fuck it. And uh, you, you decide to attack. So you do your slash and you can only attack while kneeling. Like literally you kneel when you attack. The second thing you notice is you can jump on bullets for no apparent reason. So you cut them and a little guy screams. And if you get hit, you turn into a log and you appear just like a stereotypical ninja. When you kill enemies, sometimes you get a little heart. And when you get that heart, then you've gotten what you need to finish the stage. And then the boss appears. And it's something. And you can bounce on this guy like no problem also. And you can bounce on his bullets and you can just have a merry old time. Oh, and look, it's the boss again. And he's getting shot by his own bullets. And if we continue to go, oh, what's this? The boss again. And he's also getting carried around by what looks like a bunch of little Zangiefs. So I guess it's baby Zangief boss with something, I don't even know. And then when you decide, fuck it, you can just do this. And just drop a fucking rock on his ass. But that doesn't really do much. You also have a time limit, and pretty much the slash is complete ass compared to doing this. Getting hit, apparently, but no. You jump and you can, you can get hit. Uh, you can basically jump and you can throw stars, which are about a million times better than doing the actual slash. So you kill him and then a bunch of yells come out and it's apparently a level over. Then this guy on the bottom right, who looks like he's trying to make some, like, food for you or something like that, he looks like a chef, uh, apparently is yelling at you something. And he's saying, button. And he's saying, osu. So apparently hit the button, asshole. It's basically what he's saying. Osu doesn't mean asshole, but you know what I mean. He's basically hitting, he's basically saying hit the button from what I can remember. So, uh, you get a bonus, which really is kind of pointless. And now you're on these tubes. And the tubes are, and now you have a guy that is something. He's upside down, and he has decided to be upside down because that is how he gets decided to spend his life. So you obviously have to kill him for no apparent reason. You get a heart, and holy shit, it's a fist. This isn't Smash Brothers, though. So, yeah. Kind of cutting him up here. Hitting him with a slash. You can bounce on him, too, of course. You can pretty much bounce on anything in this game. And you cut him up, and he gets decides to take a permanent leave of absence and falls off the screen. And you can try and get a bonus here. Let's see if we can get number one. Oh, look at that timing. Look at that timing. I got life up, but it doesn't matter, though. So, fuck it. Next stage. Uh, by the way, I will not be completing this game because it has at least 100 stages. It is fucking huge. And now you have the dude who is doing the crab and is vomiting fire out at you again. And now you have Pixie or Cupid dude. Oh, and now he's suddenly flying at you like a Superman, and you got hit in the head with rocks, and you have stars on your head. This game makes complete sense, right? Right? Makes complete sense? So I got a heart, and now you have skeleton dudes. And they're very mad that you were causing the volcano to explode. Very mad. Very mad. So as usual, you should throw stars at them, because hitting them with a the knife is like almost fucking impossible, because they literally knife you as soon as they jump. So, and they have a huge range compared to yours, so yeah, you're pretty much asking for it if you do that. But of course I'm doing it anyways, fuck it. So, come on. Kill his ass. There you go. And that is the level, and you hold your knife up, and you have won the level again. Good job. And now you get main up, whatever the hell that is. And he says, Yoka ta something. I don't give a shit. Fucking more shit. Now you're in the woods. And you cut a guy up, and you get a heart, and you have, you have dude that did not get enough blood in his veins, so he's purple. He is purple, and now you have a big star. I guess that's what main up meant. So I'm gonna slack, fucking slash that guy up. Cut him up. Now I need one more star. So there it is. And now the boss, which is apparently the dude from uh, Goals and Ghosts, although it's a dragon, not a demon. But you pretty much just say, fuck these guys. Drop a fucking rock on their head. You cut him up. Now the knife actually hits multiple times, so that's kind of good. And then you do a dance. You do a dance. It's a good game. 
So have any of you figured out what the point of this game is yet? Because I haven't. But we're going to change our character now. So uh, let's pick a new character here. Let's try Batman, or Swordman, or He-Man, or the human version of lion -O. Whatever, fuck it. So now you are deciding to hold your sword upside down like you're basically uh, trying to be gangster or something. I don't know. Who the fuck holds their sword like that? I mean, seriously, like, what the fuck? So uh, you're down to one hit on life, which kind of sucks, and you have to jump on little baby sheep, apparently. Baby cotton candy sheep, I don't even know. And you decide your your attack, and it just doesn't really seem to do much, except for make the sheep hop, because he's just like, you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? You think that lightning is going to fuck with me? I'm a motherfucking sheep. And then you get a statue, which gives the game some class, until you press the start button, and then that happens. Now, the amazing thing is, is that this game actually came out in arcades. This is actually a fucking arcade game. Oh, no, look, now I'm a sheep. For no discernible reason. So now I'm a sheep, and I didn't put any codes or anything. This is what automatically happens in the game. So now it's a sheep versus sheep battle. I don't know if you what you even call this, because you got mono e mono, which is like one on one. So like, is that for humans or is that for sheep too? I don't know. But anyways, you throw some sheep at him, and then he decides to take a hop, and he comes back, and they shoot purple fire at you. Now something to notice about this guy is if you crouch, you're invincible as a sheep. This only applies to you, but you are invincible if you crouch as a sheep. Now, if you move at all, you can get hit, which kind of sucks, but yeah, so you're pretty much fucked right here. And you have no special attack, you have no super attack when you're a sheep, you just have your pink baby sheep you toss out, for no apparent reason. And also, every enemy in this game makes the same sound when you attack it, for no apparent reason either. And I'm gonna do a sheep dance. So we had a good time there with Mr. Uh, sword Guy, I guess. Sub up, what is sub? A sub sandwich? Next stage. Get ready. Get ready for the time of your life because you're a motherfucking sheep again. Also to note, when you actually press down and right, you turn into a sheep that apparently is not content with what is happening in the game. So you have to uh, kill these assholes, and as usual with everything in the game, if you jump on it, you are invincible to it. And tossing some sheep out, getting them hearts. Now I will say the sheep's weapon is probably the best in the game because it bounces, it goes in indefinite range, and it fucking just like pretty much kills everything in one hit so it's actually probably the best weapon in the game sadly enough when you get all the star or when you get all the hearts this happens the fucking massive totem pole of fuckery comes after you and he's pretty pissed off so you can pretty much race and try and get away from him or you can just say fuck him and crouch because remember you're invincible when you crouch so you can pretty much just do this all day now, I actually trapped him here, but if he does touch you, yeah, you're invincible, so you can just pretty much fuck him. Just, that, that's it. That's pretty much it, and I do sheep dance. So that's, this is pretty much Trio the Punch. This is a Trio the Punch right here. I got my sub up again. Yeah, yeah. So, next stage. What does the next stage have in store for us? Back to this guy. Fucking him up, apparently. I can't seem to cut him. Well, now I can, and it's a turtle. And that turtle got pissed off, I hit it. And holy shit, it's the fucking chef! And now he's sh shooting Chinese kanji at me, or maybe it's Japanese, I can't tell which. Well, they're, the kind of, they're kind of the same thing, but whatever. I mean, because, you know, kanji is from China, and then Japan kind of, like, uses it also, but it's slightly altered in some cases. That probably offended a bunch of, like, language majors out there, because I probably got that all horribly wrong. But, uh, yeah, so now we got more dudes, and now we have dudes floating up from the ocean, and they are kind of big, and they apparently have some gas problems. And now I'm getting fucked up, so I need to go, hey, and do apparently nothing. So this guy's special attack basically sucks a dick. And I'm just gonna hop on him, fuck it. This dude is red hot, this dude is boiling with the passion. This dude is boiling with the passion of his land, of his fighters, of his world, and I'm dead. And I decided to do a dance of shame. And then you press start, oh, you put some coins in first, and you press start, and you're like, okay, 